Are you struggling with debt and don't know where to start? You're not alone. In fact, many people are in the same boat as you. Debt can feel like a mountain that's impossible to climb. But there's good news. There are proven strategies that can make this journey manageable and even successful. It's all about finding the right method for you. But don't worry. Today, we will introduce two popular methods to help you overcome your debt, the debt snowball and debt avalanche. First up, we have the debt snowball method. This approach is all about momentum. Imagine rolling a small snowball down a snowy hill. It starts small, but as it rolls, it gathers more snow and gets bigger and bigger. Now apply that concept to your debt. You start by focusing all your extra money on the smallest debt while making minimum payments on the rest. Once that smallest debt is paid off, you roll the money you were paying on it into the next smallest debt, and so on, until you've wiped out all your debts one by one. What's great about the debt snowball method is the psychological boost it gives. As you pay off each smaller debt, you'll feel a sense of accomplishment that can keep you motivated to continue. But remember, this method might not always be the most cost-effective, as it doesn't consider interest rates. However, it does provide a sense of progress and achievement. So, if you're someone who thrives on quick wins and needs a motivational boost, the debt snowball method might be right for you. Next, let's dive into the debt avalanche method. This strategy is all about the numbers. Imagine you're standing on a mountainside, armed with the knowledge of your debts. The debt avalanche method is like tackling the highest peak first, the one with the steepest interest rate, and working your way down. You begin by listing all of your debts, from the highest interest rate to the lowest. You make minimum payments on all your debts, but focus extra payments on the debt with the highest interest rate. Once that's paid off, you move to the next highest rate, and so on, like an avalanche cascading down a mountain. To get started with the debt avalanche, you'll need a clear picture of your debts. Gather your bills, loan statements, and credit card statements. Write down the balance and interest rate for each debt. Then, determine how much extra you can afford to pay each month. This extra money goes towards the debt with the highest interest rate. Now let's talk pros and cons. The debt avalanche method can save you the most money in interest over time, and you'll pay off your debts faster if you stick to the plan. However, it may take longer to see progress, which can be discouraging. So, if you're a numbers person, and want to save the most money in the long run, the debt avalanche method might be your best bet. Now that we've covered both the debt snowball and debt avalanche methods, it's time to make a decision. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've discussed. The debt snowball method, where you start by paying off your smallest debts first, can give you early wins and a psychological boost. It's all about momentum and staying motivated. On the other hand, the debt avalanche method focuses on paying off the debts with the highest interest rates first. This method, while requiring a bit more patience, can save you more money in the long run. Both methods have their merits and both can lead you to the same destination, a debt-free life. What matters most is choosing the method that aligns with your personal goals, your financial situation, and your mindset. So take a deep breath, consider your options, and then take that first decisive step. Remember, the best method is the one that you will stick with. So, choose wisely and start your journey towards financial freedom today.